the results from going away from God, it always leads to hatred towards him, the most high God and his truth. And it ends up developing love towards anything that is sinful and worldly and anything that is against God. Now, being prideful of who you claiming that you are, taking pride in your lustful ways, that is preventing the Holy Spirit from coming into your life and ultimately developing a hatred towards the truth and towards anything that is godly. And we know that Jesus is the truth according to John 14 and 6. So now you're developing hatred towards Jesus. As long as the devil can get you in that state where you are prideful of what you do, Satan has full control over you, whether you like it or not. Because when you are prideful of what you are, you are prideful of sin. You welcome sin into your life and you don't see anything wrong with it. All you're doing is building a brick wall between yourself and your conscience. And when that happens, you become deaf and can't hear anything anymore. And as a result, you can no longer hear the voice of the Holy Spirit telling you, don't be no homosexual. And you have to understand the Holy Spirit cannot force himself in you. So that means that the Holy Spirit cannot force himself into your life and cleanse you from all of these unclean spirits. Why? Because you are not allowing him to do so. Now, do you see the trick of the devil? Then if Satan gets you into that state where you are prideful of your sin, you belong to him, meaning you are now under the deception and you're no longer under the Most High God's authority because you have built a brick wall between yourself and the Most High God. Now by this action, you have entered yourself into a state of incurable spiritual demonic possession. And through this action, you have opened the doors for great demonic manifestations. Now in order for you to catch the deception of the devil, you need to be operating within God's radar because whenever you use God's radar, you will notice that Satan uses the demon pride to infiltrate the mass public and then bring forth legions of devils to infiltrate the masses and to keep them in that state of mind of incurable spiritual demonic possession. Because whenever you have legions in you, it becomes difficult for you to accept anything that is godly. Now you have developed a hateful relationship against your maker. Why? Because your maker hates homosexuality. So, having this concept and understanding and logic, now you should have the understanding of gay pride. And we know that pride is a demon that leads to destruction according to the book of Proverbs 16 and 18. And we know what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah back in Genesis 19 who practiced homosexuality. And we know that the Most High God destroyed these people. The Most High God brought his wrath upon these people. And the United States of America is the new Sodom and Gomorrah. Satan is using the demon of pride against you all. Now, this is not about just the homosexuals. Whenever a Christian hears somebody's preaching about oh, gay marriage this or gay marriage that or a woman is not supposed to wear pants or you're not supposed to break the Sabbath day, the seventh day Sabbath day that God ordained from the very beginning or whenever you hear somebody preaching about breaking God's laws, period. Or when you hear somebody preaching about what sin is, which is breaking the Most High God's laws, they become offended and they immediately say, you are preaching hate speeches. Or they'll say things like you're judging people. Oh, you can't judge that woman because she's wearing pants. Not understanding that these are the Most High God's commandments. I'm going to tell you all right now. Open up your word and let the Most High speak to you directly. If you feel like you can't hear him, open up his word so you can hear from his word what his word is saying to you. Because by me doing this serious about homosexuality, it was all from the Most High God. It was from his spirit. He ordained me to do this message for you all to wake you people up. 
It's your boy, Brother Kwame from the Lion of Judah Teach channel, and I am out. Shalom.